what's up? Welcome to my channel. Today is Foundation Friday. I am so excited. It's October. It's fall. I got myself a little fall vampy vibe look. You know, when it's fall, it's time to bring out the dark lip colors. I just need to update my nails. My nails are pink, but I need to update them to be like vampy, dark, blood color nails, or I need to do like black nails. I've never really done black nails, but maybe I'll do like a mixture like some black nails with like matte, but like I would have to cut my nails like really, really sharp. But anyways, you guys, the real thing today, today I am doing Milani Conceal and Perfect 2-in-1 Foundation Review. It's a try-on. I've used this foundation before, but um, I never really like tested it out. I just kind of used it. I don't know. I mean, I'm pretty sure all of us are like that. You just kind of use the foundation and you... This is like back in the days where I didn't really understand foundation so much, so that's when I used it, but now I understand foundation, so we're here and we're retrying it out again. So you know what the drill is. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like this video, comment down below for more foundation videos like this, and let's get started and stop all the extra conversation, right? So as you know, I'm always gonna have the screen up for you guys, and we're gonna go ahead and explore this Milani foundation. Okay, so this is Milani Conceal Imperfect. It is $9.99, which is really great. It has a really good review. I guess a lot of people really, really like it. The shade range looks really, really good. There's about one, two, so there's about 29 shades, which is not bad for a drugstore foundation. It's $9.99, which is a great price range. It starts with ivory and it ends with dark deep with red undertones. And then it has espresso and then it has cocoa. So there's about four darker shades. I think they need to have three or four more darker shades to make this whole shade range complete. And obviously they have tons of um, medium shade ranges. So I went in with tan. So tan is medium dark with warm yellow undertones, which you know what? That was pretty good on my part to guess because I am a medium dark dark skin tone with a yellow undertone. For many of you guys who often ask me this, I am a MAC NC42 if you need that shade as a reference chart just to see if we match or not, but it's a MAC NC, I wear a MAC NC42. Um, so yeah, there's about 29 shades. I went ahead and picked the color tan. And let's see, it combats under eye circles, redness, and other skin imperfections with this full coverage water resistant foundation plus concealer in one, a no mess, no drip pump dispensers, which is amazing because MAC, you guys are not listening to me. You guys do not have your foundations that come with a pump. I mean, but they do sell a separate pump, so you gotta be remember to, you know, like you gotta buy it separately. But anyways, I'm always gonna complain about that and MAC is never gonna change it, so get over it, girl, right? Um, so I like that they like kind of put the emphasis on the pump thing. Um, it cheeses a flawless look and works around the clock to keep skin looking natural and perfect. So that's pretty much all they say and then they give an ingredients list. They're cruelty free. This is their website. Um, it's absolute, it's an absolute dupe for pricier um, foundations is what one of the reviews says. So I'm not gonna read the reviews even though there are like amazing reviews on this foundation. I'm not going to read them because I don't want to have like a biased opinion. So I'm just going to wear this foundation for the rest of the day. This is the color Tan 09. I'm going to do one face with a beauty blender and then the other side I'm going to do with a kabuki brush. So we're going to go in with this beauty blender first. And I'm just going to put that into my skin. So with the beauty blender, this is amazing. The color Tan actually looks really good on me. It's a little orangey. Oh, the coverage is pretty good. Like, guys, look at that coverage. Yes. Do you see this coverage, though? So the formula is amazing. The finishing is great. I feel like it really, really worked amazing on me. Like, the coverage is just banging. Like, skin looks really good. It has a comfortable matte finish. It's not a super drying matte finish, which is key for me because you guys know I have a dry skin. And that's with the Beauty Blender. I think with the Beauty Blender, it performed amazing and it blended out amazing color. Um, the color is pretty exact, except I do think that this has a little bit more orange red undertone and I need more of a neutral undertone. And I didn't need to use a lot of product. One pump was good enough. So let's see. 
Now we're going to go in with, oh my god, it's just as good with the Kabuki brush. This is my IT Cosmetics Foundation Flawless Brush. If you're looking for a foundation brush, IT Cosmetics, this Heavenly Luxe Foundation Brush is my all-time favorite. So I definitely think if you're looking for a brush, invest in it get yourself one so this is basically the whole face covered in the milani conceal and perfect foundation my basically first impressions of it is i really like how the beauty blender side is the coverage is amazing the feel is amazing but this side when i applied it with my brush it became really really thick and very very I don't know it's weird I think it's because the brush sucks up less product and the beauty blender tends to put on a thinner layer of product so I think if I was to use this foundation I would just go in with a complete beauty blender application I would skip the brush um, so I'm just gonna go in back with my beauty blender and just kind of like suck out any of the excess because I mean this brush put on so much so basically you don't need a lot of product with this foundation a little goes a long way so don't worry about you know needing a lot and what's great is like this foundation is like oh my god it's so affordable so there you go now now you guys i'm just going to go ahead and do my concealer do my bronzer do everything and i'll be back and let you guys know how everything layers onto this foundation and then we'll obviously do a whole day wear and then i'll let you guys know my final verdict Guys, okay, so I went ahead and layered all of my foundations. Well, I layered all my products on top of this foundation. I'm gonna say one thing. When I was layering the products on top of the foundation, some of the bronzers and the blush kind of got a little patchy. I fixed it though, but the thing is, I think this Milani, I definitely think this Milani Conceal and Perfect foundation takes a while to dry and that's why some of my products went on kind of patchy. But now that it's completely and fully dried, it actually looks really, really good. And I'm really excited to see how this foundation's going to continue to perform. I'm excited and I'm, you know, it's even though I've used it before, I never really took the time to like test it out and see how it works out on me. So I'm really excited to test that out today. Hey guys, so obviously it's late at night already and I still have the Milani foundation on. It's time for me to go to bed. It's like 1 a.m. I've had this on since 2 p.m. So that's about almost 12 hours if I stay up till 2 a.m. But now it's like 11 hours basically. But um, yeah, so let's talk about it. So for 11 hours, if you notice a lot of it, you guys don't worry about my chin hair like I thought everyone has some type of facial hair I do too so if you notice a lot of it has faded like look at how much it has faded like literally it's just it's mm, mm -hmm. I am not really feeling it like this looks really bad um I noticed that after wearing it like first impressions this was amazing foundation but after a while it started to turn really orange on me and like I just looked really orange on pictures, really orange in camera. Sorry I didn't get to get like a daytime. Well, I do have some daytime views of this. I can also show you guys like the daytime pictures that I took. But like this just looks really, really, um, it looked really, really orange on me on camera and pictures. And like, I don't know, it was just looking orange in some lights and then it looked good in other lights. It was just a little inconsistent in coloring and it, um oxidized <laughs> that's the word it oxidized quite a bit so um that makes me really unhappy because i always like to get foundation my exact color so if you are interested in this foundation since it's a drugstore foundation it's only ten dollars um i would definitely you know uh shade down because it's gonna oxidize and get darker um but at the same time i wouldn't really recommend this foundation um because it does fade it's definitely not something i would um be happy to wear it just it just didn't look good on my skin as I thought it would uh, it has really great reviews but it just didn't work out for me a lot of people might think I'm crazy because I don't think this worked out but it just didn't work out for me like it faded it's like practically not even on my face anymore um, and it just cry cre it created a lot of texture in my skin like just it's like really textury it just wasn't as smooth and it didn't conceal as much as i wanted like i said first impression was amazing and then as the hours progressed i was not that impressed so i would give this foundation about a three 
And the reason why I'm going to give it a three is because it faded. And I cannot, I cannot work with foundation that fades. And then I would also give it a three because it oxidized extreme. It made me look orange after a while. And that is like a no-no. Because, I mean, if I take pictures and I, and I need to like up the color balance or something, I can't have orange looking foundation, right? So it definitely isn't photography friendly. So that's also why it's a three. And um, the texture also why it's a three so yeah you guys i personally would skip all this foundation your girl got to keep it real but anyways i will see you guys in my next foundation friday i'm going to test out um another foundation that's either new to the market or something that i discover i'm probably going to take you guys shopping with me to find the next foundation that I am wanting to try out for you guys. So that'll be something exciting to add on. It's like sometimes when I go shopping for foundation, that'll be fun to do. So I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you so much for watching these videos and sticking with me. I love you so much. Bye.